Hi and welcome to a video about Agile Software Development and Scrum. Um, this is a very uh, important subject and it is a, a huge area. So this is going to be a short intro to, to this subject. Um, the reason why this is so important is that uh, today over 60% uh, of all uh, software development projects uh, are failing and this is costing billions and billions of dollars each each year in in uh, in lost uh, you know spendings on on these projects so um, you know changing the way that we manage these uh, software projects is really important important and uh, has really uh, you know, uh, done a great deal for me uh, in order to uh, keep track on the projects and uh, and do these projects in a uh, in a manner that uh, is more suitable for uh, the businesses and where uh, it, it is uh, more um, transparent uh, than uh, the uh, old waterfall way of uh, doing project manage management. So Agile and uh, Scrum is sort of a way of thinking. It's a mythology to uh, create better uh, software projects that uh, that uh, are developed in uh, in what we call sprints and uh, uh, thereby are uh, more agile to uh, to changes. And uh, the company who is paying the developer um, uh, have these uh, uh, meetings or, or uh, you know. Uh, in in the development uh, to see how the project is going. Uh, so you might have um, had a, a software project where uh, you know you you talk to uh, you talk to the developer or or, um, or the development company and tell them what it is you need, and then they go off, they disappear for three months and uh, develop the project and come back and show you this is uh, this is the result um agile software development is uh, you know it, it's it's more about uh, communication it's more about um collaboration and it's uh, it's uh, uh, you know more about the people uh, than the process and so um uh, to explain this uh, you know shortly um when you start a, a agile software project you usually have a discovery phase or a a uh, phase where you uh, uh, create a backlog, and a backlog is a list of prioritized um, prioritized features for your software or your website. And uh, you develop this backlog in in you know with the developer and the the, the client uh, at a, at some meetings. Um, and uh, this backlog uh, you know, determines uh, the user story, which uh, uh, is a way of measuring. Uh, the success of the the project and when the project is done. So you have this list of uh, features, and you say, well, with, with when these features uh, in prioritized order is done, uh, we're done with the project. We can launch the app or we can launch the website, um, and uh, thereby, uh, you know, elim elim eliminating uh, any. Uh, any questions about uh, when is the project done and and you know uh, uh, getting more features in there in in the last minute and and so on, uh, which can cause a lot of problems. Um, but when you have developed this backlog, you uh, start developing uh, the software. And uh, if it's a web website, you uh, you uh, start by uh, figuring out uh, how. Um, uh, big sprints you want to do this in and a sprint is sort of a time period where you um, uh, where you agree on uh, um, uh, some some of the features in the project where you uh, go off and develop these features so a sprint can be uh, you know two weeks or four weeks uh, if it's two weeks you know you decide which features to develop in these two weeks and the developer goes to develop these uh, things and you have a meeting after two, ve two weeks where uh, the client can see the the progress in the project and the developer can you know uh, get a feel for well is this the the right way to go and also you know uh, 
are uh, is our uh, time assessment of this project still okay um and usually in this meeting uh, you will have what is called a retrospect where we look back at uh, what uh, the last sprint uh, contained and uh, how you did and and uh, from from this learn how to better uh, plan the next sprint and uh, then you plan the next sprint and uh, figure out which features are going to be done in the next two weeks or the next four weeks and after the, that you meet uh, meet up again with the, the client and the team and um, usually uh, when I do these kind of projects it's it's only me uh, you know I'm the project manager I'm the developer I'm the designer I'm the uh, information architect uh, and so on and it's just me and the client or me and the client and uh, some of the clients uh, uh, employees uh, but uh, sometimes you all also have uh, you know larger teams developing teams uh, which are then working in what is called scrums and a scrum is uh, yeah what it sounds like if you know uh, rugby uh, it is sort of a, a way to uh, for the team to figure out what uh, is going to uh, what is going to happen next and uh, how to plan um, the next play the next sprint um, so a scrum uh, is a sort of a team of a scrum master usually uh, who, who uh, manages the project and uh, ensures that the rules of the uh, agile um, uh, software development uh, is is uh, uh, you know uh, is kept and um, you can have a developer and a designer and a uh, information architect and and so on and these people work together uh, in you know and and talk with each other uh, every day and thereby eliminating the uh, problems that can uh, that can arise by you know the developer going off to do his job and the designer going off to do his or her job and and so on uh, so the team uh, works closely together to to uh, to get these uh, features done um, and uh, in the end uh, you know you you launch launch the project and uh, after that you iterate you know you uh, you uh, uh, go back and uh, figure out well are there changes to the project and and uh, and work these uh, these things out and one of the great ways, uh, uh, one of the great benefits of this is that the company that is hiring the developer uh, um, always knows how far this is a, this project and is this still, you know, uh, giving the company value instead of uh, instead of after three months looking at the project and thinking, well, yeah, that was what we decided three months ago, but but things change change since that um, so in agile you have the uh, possibility of changing the project as you go along and thereby eliminating eliminating problems and for me this is a it has been a huge impact on the way that I work and think and it is a great way to to be more effective and more transparent and work closer and better together with uh, with clients um, so so i can't you know <laughs> emphasize enough that this is really a great way to do uh, projects and it's not a very old way of thinking you know people really started taking uh, agile uh, um, in account in, in about 2005 2006 um, so so it's pretty new but if you have the time to check up on this uh, really do it and have an open mind it is a great way to develop software and, uh, and websites as I said this is a big subject uh, subject and this was a really quick overview I hope I haven't bored you too much but but um, if you have any questions uh, or comments please feel free to write them in the comment section below or send me an email um, you are always welcome to follow me on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube uh, to stay updated with uh, new videos and uh, you can uh, also uh, ask my questions uh, questions here um, so yeah don't be a stranger see you bye